Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to BeamNG Mods Weekly. We have a pretty good lineup this week. There are some really creative mods, some really great stuff, and I can't wait to show you. But uh, first of all, if anybody out there has any good, any experience with like After Effects and stuff like that, would somebody be willing to make me a BeamNG Mods Weekly intro? Because I have no intro, so I have to use my own before this. But yeah, so anyway, let's get right into this. <laughs> Alrighty, so first up we have a map called Ghost Desert by Ghost187. And this is basically just a huge open desert with no roads, no nothing, just pure desert. And first off, this map is absolutely gorgeous. Like everywhere you look, it just looks like a straight postcard. And it even has like a little oasis area, so but you never really know if it's real until you drive right up to it. I don't you could think it, it could be a mirage or something. It's so beautiful. And I even found a little cave out in the middle of nowhere. It's really fun to drive through, complete with a waterfall in the middle. It's pretty crazy. This map is perfect for like a dune buggy or a, any off-road Baja truck or something of that nature, but you can get some speed, but giant jumps just come up out of nowhere and you probably won't see them coming and you'll probably end up killing yourself. The fact that there's no roads and even like the destruction and essence of a civilization that used to be there makes it kind of creepy but kind of awesome at the same time. So yeah, I highly recommend this mod. Again, this is Ghost Desert 2 by Ghost187. So next up, we have an absolutely amazing car mod. This is the Hoverside Hover Car by Bernard and it is absolutely fucking awesome. There's no illusions here, it's actually floating. And this is a mod of the burn side, only it kind of makes the whole thing floating above the ground and adds tons of like sci-fi techno shit on the inside and outside and it's actually pretty fucking awesome. The dashboard is complete with uh, back to the future references and a computer module and there's like a weird like f glowing orb in the middle of the engine which I can only assume is what's powering this beast. And this thing doesn't control like a normal car, you actually have to use the arrow, the arrow keys on the keyboard, you can't really fly it with a controller. And you, you actually like, have to control which way you're leaning the car with the F and H keys, because they kind of roll it from side to side, and there's actually a speed boost that you can use, which is not kidding around, it actually sends you flying hundreds of miles an hour, it's actually kind of scary, and kind of hard to control sometimes. You can also control how high your car floats above the ground with the V and N keys and it's you can go up actually pretty high like about 5 to 10 feet up in the air and if you actually hit a jump it kind of just sends you flying into the sunset. It's pretty crazy. And it also gives you quite a few different variants. There's like the standard, there's like a sports edition which is really nice red custom and there's also a police car and a cab and there's also a really fucking weird one which is called the Illuminati d edition and it has just a bunch of dank memes on it and like a terrifying creature in the back seat which he says is a Pokemon but I don't really see the resemblance. But this is one of the best, if not the best, mods to come out this week, so you guys should definitely check it out. It's the Hoverside Hover Car by Bernard. So next up, we get a mod for the SBR4, and what it does is actually turn it into a convertible. Well, actually, not a convertible. It has no roof at all. This is the SBR4 Spider Edition by Narwhale. And it actually also changes the wheelbase, makes it slightly shorter, but it makes it look a lot less ugly, because in my opinion, the SBR4 was not the most attractive car in, in BMG. It kind of had some weird edges toward the back, but this changes all that. It looks a lot better in my opinion. We just need a map where you can drive down the coastal highway and it'll be the perfect setting for this car. And it e actually even has a variant for the uh, hill climb edition, which in my opinion looks the most badass. It just looks amazing. So good work, Narwhale, and keep up the great mods. You guys should definitely check this one out. The last mod we're going to take a look at this week is called Learn to Fly by Spencer Johnson. Now this guy has been pushing out some pretty creative shit this last couple weeks and this is no exception. This map consists of about 8 different ramps and they're all completely different. Some of them are like full loops, some of them are half loops, some of them are just distance jumps that just kind of send you over this mountain, some send you directly into the mountain. It's just tons of hours of fun. This guy's responsible for making the uh, maps that I reviewed last week called Honey I Blew Up the Kids and Honey I Shrunk the Car. The car, not the kids. But anyway, he's just a super creative dude and I hope he keeps pushing out maps like this because they've all been super fun. 
that's gonna do it this week guys if you liked what you saw just tell me in the comments and i'll keep making these and all the mods that you saw today are gonna be in the description download them for free highly recommend it but yeah i will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye